Detroit Lions fans have become an absolute force when it comes to road games for our team. It, and it really started, in my opinion, that last game against the Green Bay Packers in 2022 when the Lions eliminated the Packers from playoff contention. And then it continued over when we got that first game, the opening game of the season against the then Super Bowl champion Kansas City Chiefs to kick off week one. And since those moments, we have been traveling as a force going to these away games. Now, I went to the Indianapolis Colts game yesterday, and it's about a four hour and 15 minute drive, about I think it was 240-ish miles or so, somewhere around there, maybe between 240. I think it was closer to 280, but it wasn't that bad. My limit is about five hours, and it was right underneath that. Not a, not too bad. I mean, on the way back home, start getting that crick, that little bump right on the left side of my back, man. But it's gone now, uh, thankfully. But that's the limit of, of which I could go. I, I hope to go to the Chicago game at the end of next month if the weather is conducive for how I like it. I need it to be at least in 30s, no rain, no snow and I should be able to go. So we'll see how that goes. But we have been hearing Jared Goff chants, and it really kind of took off with the the playoff game when the Jared Goff chant originated. I even saw it today at an elementary school. In all of the NFL, and I've been watching a long time, a lot of history, If put in the comment section, what other player has this type of thing? I'm talking about that is spreading not just something that happens at an NFL stadium, something that happens beyond the NFL. It, it, it's insane. It's And it, it's perfect that his name is three syllables. Jared Goff is very chantable. You know what I'm saying? You couldn't do that with Stafford. Matthew Stafford. Matthew Stafford. Matt Stafford. You can aid in Hutchinson. Aid in H- Jameer Gibbs. You can do it with Jameer Gibbs. So you can do it. So he got a very chantable name. But – I wanted to show you my experience, man, from yesterday and how that disrespect that I was talking about in last night's video. I have a lot of clips, but I'm only going to bring in two because these are two big ones that tell the same story, just two different ways. This is coming. Well, I might need to make sure you guys can see it first. So this is coming from. My Twitter, a.k.a. Lion Syndicate on Twitter. And here is this right here is in the third quarter. Now, uh, directly across where you see the, the sun coming in here, there is open. All of this is open. And you can you don't need like a ticket or anything like that. If, if you got you can stand and essentially watch the entire game. The field is right down there. And. Very nice stadium. I liked it. You can. There's not really a bad seat in the house. You can see from everywhere that you're sitting. So very nice stadium. And I had been sitting all day. I literally, it's the start of the third quarter. I went to go grab me something to drink. And I came back and I just needed to stand up. So this is in the third quarter. It's about halfway through the, the third quarter. This is a fourth down for the Indianapolis Colts offense. I want you to listen to this. Check this out. Now, you guys hear that? You hear that? This is the third quarter, so you can't say that Colts fans were starting to leave. Third down for their offense. It's absolutely insane. And I'm telling you right now, the television does not do it justice. Whatever you heard on TV, you know, they got EQs and mixers and all that stuff, right? They got all that stuff. You, It, it, it doesn't do it any justice. Now, it, it, it was way louder than you heard it on television. It was insane. Jared Goff, let's go Lions. I mean, we in the hallway, everywhere you looked, it was Lions fans. And now I do have one major complaint about Lucas Oil Stadium. You know how you're going up to the upper floors? They got one escalator, one. Even Ford Field has more than that. One escalator that goes up and one that comes down. It is the dumbest. I don't know who somebody needs to re- renovate in the offseason, put in another escalator. It's it's ridiculous, right? But so if there's bottleneck of you trying to get up to the upper levels, it's insane. They do have an elevator, though. I think you need special access to get on it. 
So you heard Let's Go Lions, Jared Goff, all that stuff. Now, this is in the fourth quarter, about halfway through. As you can see, it's very – coach fans begin leaving. And I got so much footage. I just – every five seconds, man, I was recording something. So much footage of coach fans walking out the door. The game is not over. It's not over. This is – with, as you can see, the offense has possession for the Indianapolis Colts. Listen to this. Again, this is when the home team has possession or at home. It was like a home game for the Detroit Lions. It was like a, and here's the beauty part. In Ford Field, I want you to take a, a note to this. The Jerry Goff chance, let's go Lions, was starting when they were even on offense, the Lions that was. And soon as Jerry Goff started walking up under center, they just stopped. That does not happen like that at Ford Field. I don't know what it is, but... This is, of course, the stadium is emptying out. So now it's 90% Lions fans. We had uh, there was some there was a person sitting next to us literally said, The game is over. We're they they left because we were in in this in and you know the, the seating is tight at the stadiums. They got to get 60,000 people in there. So we had coach fans on the end, some coach fans down here, and a group of us Lions fans were bunched in the middle, and they left in the third quarter. They was like it's over. We're going to take off. And they start a mass exodus of people. And it's it's like late third, not even the fourth quarter, and they're gone. And then at that time, it was we weren't going nowhere. It was probably the first time I sat and just was taking it all in. The Colts game was nothing. The Arrowhead, nail-biter. The, the Minnesota game last season, nail-biter. Went down to the end. You couldn't even relax. It was tense the whole game. The L.A. Rams game, nail-biter. The Tennessee Titans game, that was fun. That was fun. But the road, man, you, you know, it was, it was just chilling because it, it was predominantly just a Lions, a bunch of Lions fans soaking it in. But it was insane. If we had something like a, a terrible towel or something like that, it would be a wrap. You'll see us. One thing about the Pittsburgh Steelers fans, you can see them because they got the terrible towel. We have become as powerful as – the Green Bay Packer fans, the 49ers fans, the Pittsburgh Steelers fans. And our house, Ford Field, is going to become a place. You know how Arrowhead is, is, is a place that it's tough to play. It's going to be – Ford Field has become that. This is insane. This is insane. What a miraculous turnaround in less than four years this team has made. Absolutely insane. We're at year three and a half, and these, these, these people will travel. All right, so I plan to do a little bit more traveling myself, hopefully, right? Finances allow, we'll be there. But this is insane, insane. So anyway, wanted to let you guys know, again, I told you yesterday we hit 26,000. Oh, I almost forgot. I almost forgot. I got some really good news for y'all, 26,000. So we've got the Aiden Hutchinson bobblehead that we're going to give away. It's probably going to be done after Thanksgiving. All you need to be is a public subscriber and comment. That's how that's going to go. But don't worry. You'll hear about it when it's time. It'll be just like before where you have 20, 24 hours to comment. But this box is empty. Shout out to one of my subscribers. I'll just call you B. for, you know, if you want to put who you are in the comment section and you watch this video, you can. I just don't want to. Got a Calvin Johnson. Met me. He said, yo, do you got, you said you, you missed out on a Jameer Gibbs bobblehead. I said, I did. I got there too late. They were all gone. So he said, I got you. I got a David Montgomery one too. You want both of them? I was like, eh, yeah, I do. So gave me that. 
g- gave me those two. But here's the beauty. He gave me, this one's empty. I have a handful of these that I will be giving away. He graciously donated these to the giveaway. And I, like I said, I got a handful of Calvin Johnson bobbleheads that will be added to one of the give- giveaways down the line. So I want to say thank you, B. Always been a supporter of the channel, man. Actually drove to, meta, to meet him, and I picked him up. So shout out to you. Shout out to everybody else, man. So don't worry. You'll know when they're coming. But the Aiden Hutchinson bobblehead will be very soon. And I'm, I'm and, and again, all you gotta, got all you gotta do is be a public subscriber. I made a short that I will try to link to. Uh, yeah, just my most recent short. I made a short about how to become a public subscriber. It's very easy. I'll try to tell you if I remember. All you gotta do on your mobile device, go to your, and you can cut them on. When we when I announce we're having a giveaway, and when you comment, you have to wait until after I check. You know, you go to your YouTube app on your phone. You click on your icon. It's at the bottom lower right of your phone. You're going to click on the pencil on the right upper of your of your banner. At the bottom of that screen, you're going to say "Make my subscriptions private." You're going to toggle it off. So that you, I can see you are a public subscriber. After the giveaway is over, if it matters to you, then you can turn it back on. That allows me to see that you are subscribed to my channel. Okay? So, appreciate you guys. This channel is made possible by viewers, subscribers, and members just like you. You can be anywhere else on YouTube, but you choose to rock with me. I also have an announcement that I almost forgot. There's somebody that you might be familiar with. Maybe you're not. Maybe you are. Goes by the name, or used to go by the name, of Chef Lyons. Well, he's got his own YouTube channel, and he has decided that he would ask me if I wanted to, you know, if I could shout him out. I said, absolutely, man. Shout him out and let you guys know that he has decided to venture out on his own and start a new channel. He has retired the Chef character. And you guys may remember a little while ago, matter of fact, it was the open game of the season. I spoke out of turn, called him Chef Black RD, Chef Boy RD. I was out of line. I actually contacted him. I apologized. He accepted that apology and decided, hey, you know what? Um, bygones are bygone. And could you shout me out? And I was like, sure, sure. I will help anybody in this space to start if they want to start. And he's no stranger to the game. He's been around. He's been around. As a matter of fact, he was on a channel and a, that literally I helped create. So, and now neither one of us are there. Kind of weird. Kind of weird if you think about it. Not sure what that's about. Oh, wait a minute. Yes. Yes, I am. Anyway, you already know what's up. I will link his uh channel as the pin comment if you want to support another lions creator coming up in this space one that you know uh then feel free to do so want to help i want to pay stuff forward man because you guys have been so great to me i was one of the ogs back in the day not the like the original ogs but an og nonetheless 2018 we talk about i've been in, the, in this game since 2018 i've been around the block man been around and i ain't going nowhere all right you guys know what's up man appreciate you hit the sub button show sh- Former chef, some love. He goes by Don now, so show Don some love. I'll see you next time.